Hello, I'm Daniel with Palm Bits Export. This tutorial will be going over how to set up and use Center V2. First, let's go over what Center V2 is used for. First reason for Center V2 is for monitoring more than one location remotely. The second is because you'll want to record the video at a remote location. Now keep in mind, this is not for everyone. Please, if you're just trying to view the cameras remotely, do not follow these steps and refer to the How to View Cameras Remotely with GeoVision tutorial. So before I get started, I want to go over a few things that are not in this video. You'll want to set up DDNS at all the locations, including the Center V2 location. For example, I would put palmvidcams.ditmap.com at the GeoVision computer. and my Center V2 location, I would use palmvidcenterv2.ditmap.com. You may need to review the how to use DDNS with GeoVision tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and get started at the Center V2 location. First, we'll want to install Center V2. Insert the GeoVision software disk and want to choose Install GeoVision System or the third option. Then we'll just go ahead and choose Yes on the license agreement. Now locate and click on the GeoVision Center V2. Now the program is going to automatically start to install. Just go ahead and click Next. All the preset settings are perfectly fine unless you want to specify a different drive that you want the Center V2 installed on. Now after the installation is complete, it will ask you to restart the computer. You'll want to just go ahead and restart the computer. I'm going to jump forward here. You'll want to review the how to forward ports for GeoVision tutorial. And then what we're going to need is a couple ports opened in Geo or at the Center V2 location, 5547 and 5551. Now once these ports are forwarded, let's go ahead and create an account in Center V2. So go ahead and open Center V2 by clicking on Start. And then let's go ahead and go to All Programs. Then locate the Center V2 folder. Inside the Center V2 folder, you'll want to click on Center V2 System to open the software. Now let's create our first account. Locate the Accounts icon and then click on it. A new window will appear called the address book. Inside this window, want to locate and click on the add subscriber icon. Yeah, another window will appear. The only thing I'm going to be concerned about in this demo is the login ID, the password, and the name. Each subscriber you add is basically a different location. In this demo, I'm going to add one location. So I'm going to just type test for the login ID and the password, then test v2 for the name. I'll then click finished after I'm done creating a new subscriber. Yeah, another window will pop up asking about different settings. I'm not really going to go over any of these settings in this demo. I'm just going to press OK at the bottom. That's it. We just added a new subscriber, or in other words, we just created a new GeoVision account. Go ahead and press the X in the top right hand corner of the address book window. Again, in this demo, I left out the DDNS part, so make sure to install DDNS and write down the DITMAP address. Then let's go ahead and go to the GeoVision location. Once at the GeoVision location, we'll want some more ports forwarded. We want ports 5548, 5545, 5549, and 5546 all opened. Again, you may want to review the port how to forward ports in GeoVision tutorial. So once the ports are forwarded, we'll want to open up the main system. Then we'll want to locate the network icon in the bottom right hand corner of the main GeoVision system and then locate the click locate and click on the connect to center v2. Now a login information window will pop up. For the center IP, you will put in the DDNS aka ditmap address for the center v2. Then use the ID and the password that you just created. And then we'll go ahead and leave the port alone and click next. And then we'll want to just click connect. All right, if everything goes perfect, now we should be able to see the cameras at the Center V2 location. So let's go ahead and go back to the Center V2 location. Now in this demo, I'm not gonna go over everything, just simply connecting to Center V2. Now by default, Center V2 only shows the cameras of motion. Now you can change that by messing around on the right hand panel where you see the location. You can right click and choose what cameras you want to see all the time by choosing live view. All right, let's go ahead and go over incorrect setup. 
Let's go ahead and close the center V2 so the GeoVision computer has nothing to connect to. Once we have this closed, we'll want to go ahead and go to the GeoVision computer to see what the error is. All right, GeoVision will just sit there looping, can't connect to center V2 till either you press cancel or the center V2 location is back up. You may also get this if the IP or username or pass are incorrect for the center V2 location. So that's about it. Center V2 is fairly advanced and complex. Please refer to the manual to get a full understanding of this and how it would work for you. Not everybody needs center V2. So anyways, we got center V2 and GeoVision computer successfully connected. Just repeat these steps for each location. Again, I hope this short tutorial helped you and please visit us at www.palmvid.com.